good afternoon math 186 students this is miss thomas and this will be the worksheet that i will give you for your test giving you all of your metric units okay so let's start with we've done um what do we do metric conversions first now we are looking at tablet dosage calculations the d over h times v which stands for desired dosage over amount on hand times the x means when you're multiplying the quantity which gives you the amount to give so i've done number one as an example i'm going to write it out again just to make sure you have it but um, it should open up if you on your next set. Okay, so it says, okay, you're going to give 30 milligrams of Enderol. The available dosage strength is a score 60 milligram tablet. How much will you give? Okay, so here. And as you can see here, how much? Right, I'm sorry, that was the bill for my class. Okay, so 30 milligrams over 60, and this is what is desired, all right, compared to what is available, what you have actually at the hospital, what's available compared to what the doctor prescribed. All right, and we're doing um, just one tablet, all right, or times one for right now to figure out how much of the tablet do we give. This means to divide. So what you would do is you would put 30 divided by 60 in your calculator, which gives you half of a tablet. Four and 0 0.5 times one is still the same. Okay, it's half of a tablet. Okay, fairly easy, good. All right, let's look at number two. Right. Number two says Primarin, 1.25 milligrams is ordered daily for your patient. The only available tablet strength is 620 mcg, which stands for micrograms. Good. What amount will you give? Okay, so this one has to be set up like a proportion. Okay, so lots of going here. So one milligram, here it is, one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. So that's what I want to write down here. And come over here. Okay, so one milligram, I'm writing in pencil, equals 1,000 micrograms. Yeah, my grandma I like that. It needs to be right. Okay, so one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here and see exactly what they have given us to work with. Okay. Okay, and let's start with the, trying to fill out what the milligrams are. They gave me what, 625 micrograms to work with. So I want to cross multiply here. One times 625 is 625 milligrams and micrograms. You always put, I'll put everything that I see. 1,000 times X is 1,000 X. And it comes with the micrograms. You want to write every unit. I want X to be all by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the coefficient. I'm going to get rid of this 1,000 and micrograms. I'm going to get rid of it. So 1,000 micrograms. Okay. This will cancel. Leave me with X, and that's what I wanted. Okay. These micrograms will cancel out. So 625 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.625 milligrams. Are we finished? No because now we know what the milligrams are. Now we need to put it divided by each other with the desired dose, because it says, this will, this is what was ordered. 
The doctor ordered this, all right? So that is the desired dose. Not what they had at the hospital, but what they prescribed. So your next, if you're not finished with the problem yet, so you're gonna do 1.25, okay, milligrams, all right, over the amount on hand. Please will counsel me put this in the calculator here. 1.25 divided by 0 0.625. You're gonna get two tablets. You get two tablets, all right? So with the proportion, the tablets you gotta make sure. Because how, how are you gonna calculate 0 0.625 milligrams of a tablet? Well, you need to make sure you do the next step. So it takes more than just that um, one step. Okay, sometimes when they give you the units, it's much easier, but for number two, it acts for micrograms. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's look at three. All right, it says potassium penicillin, 1,200,000 units, has been ordered for your patient. The available tablets are 400,000 units each. What amount will you give? This is fairly easy. The only thing you're gonna do is, since they're talking about units, they're not talking about micrograms or milligrams. Just So we're just going to divide. Okay, so this is number three. So 1,200,000. Right, they're talking about just units. Okay, this could be in your IV. All right, we got about 400,000 units. It was really nothing to um, convert or really nothing to set up like a proportion. So 1 million. 200, now make sure I put that right in the calculator, all right, divided by 400, is that right, okay, equals three tablets, okay, so fairly easy, I think you can get those, all right, have a good day.